hydrates. A hydrate is an ionic substance that has obviously the ionic part of it as well, but incorporated with that is some water. So here's an example of cobalt chloride as a hydrate and anhydrous, N meaning not with it, um, hydrous referring to the water, so anhydrous is without the water, and this one over here has water with it. Hydrated compounds can be heated to get rid of the water, so if you had this cobalt chloride with the hydrate with it, um, we could heat that up and the water would vaporize and we'd be left with the anhydrous cobalt chloride. Cobalt two chloride. Um, so you can imagine if you had the ionic crystal, you have uh, some sort of repeating arrangement of ions making up the crystal, and if there are water molecules trapped within that crystal, that's what makes it a hydrate. Now there's certain spacing within the crystal that allows these water molecules to get in there, so there's going to be a specific ratio of water molecules to the ions in the ionic crystal. Um, one example here is normal quartz, and this is the anhydrous version of uh, silicon dioxide. And then here's a hydrated version of quartz where you have water stuck within the crystals and it does have different properties. That's essentially what an opal is. Every form of the unit that we have an ionic compound, there can be a certain ratio of water molecules associated with that form of the unit. Remember, a form of the unit is just the lowest pool number ratio of ions in the crystal. We can express how much water there is as either a mass percentage, so just how much of the substance by mass is water, written as a percentage, or we can express it as a mole ratio. How many moles of ionic substance is there in the formula unit to how many moles of water are there? By mass percent, um, it's just like any other percentage calculation, essentially we're expressing a portion of a whole as a percentage. So if you find the portion that is water, which would be by taking the, the total mass of the hydrated ionic compound with the ionic and the water, subtract from it the mass of just the ionic substance, and then divide by the total mass, multiply by 100, and you have it as a percentage. Essentially this is the same thing as saying take the mass of the water, divide by the total mass of the hydrated ionic substance, and you would then know what the percent of water is inside that substance. Um, realize this is not the same thing as what we did during percent composition because we're not doing it for individual elements, we are doing it for compound. So we're not doing this per element, we are doing this per ionic substance and per water. So we're talking about the whole ionic substance and the whole water molecule, not individual elements. Um, Again, just like though when we did percent composition, if we don't um, have the mass of the particular sample given, but we do have the formula, we can use the molar masses to find out what those um, percents are. All right, so determining a hydrate's formula. By comparing the moles of an ionic substance to the moles of water, we can determine how many water molecules there are per formula unit. Again, anytime you're talking about a chemical formula, you're essentially talking about a mole ratio. So if we can find out the moles of water to the amount of formula unit there are and express that as a ratio, we will have the formula for the hydrated substance. So for example here we have one cobalt two chloride for every six waters, so it's a one to six ratio. But we're not doing it per element, we're doing it per ionic substance to the water. So there's six ionic substances, formula units, per six molecules of water. One mole of ionic stuff to six moles of water. All right, let's try this out. If we had a 100 gram sample, 100.0 gram sample of nickel 2 sulfate and we heated it to get rid of the water, to make it anhydrous, um, the final mass is works out after heating, after all the water is gone works out to be 58.90 grams. Based on that, what is the formula of the hydrate? So first thing that we want to do, step number one, is we want to find out, and again, the formula for the hydrate, the formula for the hydrate is essentially the mole ratio between the ionic substance and the water. So if we can find out how much ionic substance there are, express it as moles, find out how much water there is, express it as moles, we have that formula of the hydrate. To get to moles, we can start with our mass, and this question gives us our mass here. The ionic substance by itself, 
once the water is gone, weighs 58.9 grams. The total was 100 grams, so that gives us both the mass of the nickel to sulfate as well as the water. So take your mass of the nickel to sulfate and use the molar mass of the nickel to sulfate. Find out what it is. It works out to be 154.76 grams. Grams cancels out. And again, always set this up as a conversion factor. Don't just do it on your calculator. You will get our answer of nickel to sulfate in moles. So this gives us a number of moles for this particular sample of 0.3806 moles of nickel to sulfate. Write the unit, put a label on the unit. We're going to have lots of similar types of sub uh, numbers variables. We want to be able to keep track of them, so put both the unit and the label. Water, do the same thing. We know that if 58.90 grams was ionic substance and the total was 100, then the difference must be water. So the mass of water is 40.01 grams. Use a conversion factor to find the moles of water. Again, moles cancels out. Molar mass of water is 80.02. So this gives us 2.281 moles of water. So that is our ratio, that there is, for every 0.3806 moles of nickel to sulfate, there are 2.28 moles of water. But we like to work in whole numbers. We're talking about actual whole molecules of water to formula units. We have to put these into whole numbers to do this, just like we did before. Many ways to do it. The quickest way would be to divide by the smallest number, which is the 0.381 moles. So we would have one mole of nickel sulfate for every six moles of water, and then we can write that as our hydrates formula. There's one nickel to sulfate for every six moles of water. If we want to know the percent of water for this, we know that there are six waters on there, so we could find out, okay, well, what's the molar mass of all six of those waters? How much water do we have here? And we divide by the molar mass of the whole thing, because we're expressing a portion of a whole. So how much water is in the whole thing? And we know there are 6 um, times 18.02 grams per mole for the water. Okay, divide that by the molar mass of the nickel to sulfate and the 6 waters. Multiply that 100 and that should leave you with a percent of water at 41.1%.